Fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. spirit. Good morning, my beloved brothers and sisters in Christ. Good morning, Good morning Father. Father. We are celebrating today the Mass of Midnight Mass of 1st August, Saturday, the 1st of August, 2020. It is a mass with which we inaugurate this new moon. It is a mass of thanksgiving to God for allowing us to see yet another moon in the year 2020, despite the pandemic, despite all the all the hardship all over the world. God say, let us see this moon. We say, may his name be forever glorified in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Today we shall take time to call these names. The details of the intentions are known to those who book the Mass, and they are known to God. They are written in our Mass book in full, and we have this Mass book here on the altar, which means it is committed to this altar of Midnight Mass. But I am going to call only their names as we wrote them out for the banner that we are going to present to you tomorrow that will be bearing the names of all those who booked Mass for the month of August. So in this Mass, we are praying for the following who have requested for Mass and for prayers in the month of August. We pray in this Mass, therefore, and all through this month, August, we shall be praying for the intentions of the following. Mrs. Regina Anyangu, Mr. Basil Anthony Onugu, Obala Lilian, Nadi Mary Chioma, Chinenye Ekwelog, Ogwelogo, Okoye Ike Chuku Emmanuel, Mrs. Maureen Dike, Mrs. Ann Chokode from USA. We will be praying all through this month of August for the intentions of Annie Chokode Elvis. Mr. and Mrs. Joseph Sunde Eze from Burkina Faso. We shall be praying for Mr. and Mrs. Donatus Ebanugo, Mr. and Mrs. Wilfred Asemota and the family, Cheka, Christy, and the informal three sisters. Believe God for life partner. We shall be praying for Darlington and Gwendolyn. We shall be praying all through this month of August for the intentions of Fabian, Iwudibia, and family. We shall be praying for the for Mr. and Mrs. Calistus, aka Anyangu. We shall be praying for the intentions of Sister Ijoma Anyeche, whose birthday comes up on 21st of August. We shall be praying for Mrs. Augusta Wazo for the family of Patrick and Patricia Nando. All through this month of August, we shall be praying for Maria Ada Okunta and family, Mrs. Maria Opara, for her intentions, for the intentions of Dr. and Dr. Mrs. Efa and Peter. We shall be praying for Sir and Lady Ignatius Okunkwa, Bridget Isioma Anyaji, Chede Samuel John Lewis, Damian Onuzulike, 
Mr. Charles Egente, Mrs. Ogechuku Mobodo, Okoli Enta Chizoba, Mr. and Mrs. Obi Oramba, Adolphus Caroline Ozude and family, Mrs. Celestina Anizo from UK. We shall be praying for the intentions of Chinwe Ezeji, Mrs. Ngozeka Rosalina Arukwe, Blessing Ohadegbe Ahine. We shall be praying for the family intentions of Felicia Abe Onyeme, Mrs. Chinwe Luisa Kenechukwo, Maureen Amachele, Lady E. Enu Okolo and the family, Sir and Lady E. Enu Okolo's intention. We shall be praying for Mr. Tochuku, for Obina, Odorokwe, and the Chile Lungwafo, for their intentions, especially as regards their wedding coming up 29th of uh, August. We shall be praying for the intentions of Michael, among the Agbe, and Hansen, for Mr. and Mrs. Celestine, Anyamu, for the intentions of Anne Chokuoma. Mrs. Onyinye Wachuku, Rose Ann Eloho Edada, Chede Machuku, Okenwa Nonso Philip. We shall be praying all to this month of August for the teachers of Mrs. Juliana Chiwe, Omekwe, Mrs. Esther Ndalaka, for Miss Chioma Mary Ezine Atamo. We shall be praying for the intentions of Victor Ezeuku, Victoria Ezeuku, for the families of Ibida and the Nki, Ada Ibida and the Nki Odonze. We shall be also praying in this month for Freda Ijoma Igwe's intentions. Mr. and Mrs. Anthony Kenechuku Ijema. Mrs. Ruth Adeyinka, Victoria Chinenye, Mr. John Bosco Ilora and the family, Mr. and Mrs. Christopher Chukwe Emeka, Abumere Rosemary's intentions, Iken Najud Uku's intentions and that of his family, Mr. Greg Oyenike, we shall be praying for intentions in this mass, in this month. In this month, we are praying for Reverend Sister Margaret Mary Ngozi Ibe, Miss Chinyere Okonkwo, Miss Maureen Ozamaka Ane, Ada Jesus. This month, we shall be praying for your intentions. We pray for Ositadema Elvis Owam, Obi Uju Grace, Ezekiel Durunwa Jiako. We pray all through this month for the intentions of Wankwo. Selena Chidiabere, for the intentions of Sylvia Ginebo. We shall be praying all to this month of August for the intentions of Stanley Chigozie Mbecheta from Angola, for the intentions of Oraque Christian from UK. We shall be praying for the intentions of Reverend Father, e Reverend Sister Emanuela and the family. We shall be praying for the intentions of Mrs. Anne Chokode from the UK and the intentions of the family. For Mr. and Mrs. Christopher Chukwemeka Mbogo and the family. Nosa Mabel Omorege and the intentions of her family. We shall be praying for Mrs. Anne Chokode from USA. We shall be praying for Emeka and Azodo and Ife Inwa Elino has intentions all through this month. We shall be praying for Ugo Wochukwe Mecca, for Catherine Edako. We shall be praying for Mrs. Patricia Okongu and family all through this month of August. We shall be praying for Tobechuku Elwes intentions all through this month of August. For the intentions of Christopher Oluchi Bibian. We shall be praying for Mr. and Mrs. Matthew and the children and the boys in tension and those of their family. For Mrs. Patricia Okongu and Mr. and Mrs. Jude 
Mwangu from South Africa. Your intentions are on our altar unto the month of August. We shall be praying for Mrs. Innocencia Chibuzo Anomoto in this month of August and for the intentions of Mrs. Patience, a woman. We shall be praying for their intentions in this month of August. In this month of August, we shall pray for the intentions of Mrs. Ife Iwa Okongu. That God may grant all of them their hard desires for which they have solicited for this one month mass in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. There are others who also booked mass in a very special way. In a very special way, today, the following book asked for God's intervention in their life. Catherine in Dakar, praying for all the motherless babies, that God may bless them and grant those children His divine love and protection. Mrs. Patricia Okongu is praying for her nieces, Ka Kosorochuku and Oluchuku Mwabweze, Chinaza and Adachuku Ifeji of Four, for God to locate them with a life partner in this month of divine visitation. D.K. Morin is praying for safe delivery of her daughter in a natural way, that she wants the daughter not to give birth by CS, but to deliver naturally. We pray that God may grant her her intentions through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. We are praying in this mass with Tobechuku Elwe, who requested for this mass specially, praying for life partner, fruit of the womb, vindication and defense in the place of her work, and God's blessings upon Michelle Chinaza. Christopher Oluchi Bibian is praying for divine financial blessings and favors for herself and for her family. Ugo Emeka prays for Johnny Mercy and private intentions. Mr. and Mrs. Jude Mwangu is praying for the private intentions of the, their family. Mr. Matthew Mwachuku, Mwachuku Abo praying for total healing upon his life. We also pray in this mass for Chinyeremba, who is asking for God's healing upon for God's divine healing and long life upon her father, Mr. Patrick Okonkwo. All of us who are participating in this mass, we have our intentions. Type it in in the comment box. God knows our heart desires. We are gathering all the intentions in the comment box. Even the one you typed during the time of testimony hour. The one you typed during the time of adoration. The one you are typing now. I gather all of them to the altar of midnight mass. We have this altar here. Another altar there. The other one. And the one in the church. I am taking your name to the three altar. These three altars are dedicated to three persons in the one God. God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. Child of God, we have Trinitarian altar in this retreat center. Three altars are going to fight for you in this month of August. Three altars shall witness your masses in this month of August. Child of God, type it in. Whether you have booked mass or not, type in your intention now. For this month of August, that your intentions are on our altar. We midnight mass will settle the matter. And God will surely answer you. Child of God, do not lose faith. Do not fear. Because you are following this mass at this hour, God will surely change your story, change your situation by fire, by force. Because this month is a month of divine visitation. In the Gospel of St. Luke chapter 7, from verse 1 to 11, when Jesus Christ entered the city of Nine, when he visited the city of Nine, the only son of a widow, that was being led to burial in the cemetery, came back to life. When he visited the family of Lazarus, the family of Mary and Martha, in, in John's Gospel chapter 11, verse 44, we were told that their brother, a witness resurrection. I tell you, child of God, when Jesus visits you this month, everything that is dead in your life shall come back to life. Amen. There shall be divine restoration all around upon your life and family in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. I am praying in this Mass for the intentions 
of all of you who are with me in this chapter, make sure your intentions, sisters, the intentions you have submitted, they are in this mass. All those that I didn't mention their name, just know that we have not captured up. All of you, especially those who sent in their request and their mass intentions, shortly before we began this evening, we shall still call your names by the time we continue tomorrow. I want to tell you that all of them are already spiritually summarized on this altar. Whether your name is mentioned or not, because your spirit is in this prayer, because you are keen into this mass at this hour, your intentions shall be granted you. Let me tell you, children of God, our God never fails, and he will not fail you. The month of August is your month. This month of August, I pray that the God of Father should put you with me. We visit you with uncommon favor Amen. in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Can I hear somebody say a thunderous say, Amen? Amen. By that you are amen. May the word of God in your life be confirmed. For the Bible said, I will do for you whatever I hear you say. In Numbers chapter 14, verse 28. Whatever you have said in prayer today or communicated by typing, I prophesy in this month of all gods, our month of divine visitation, your answers to your prayers will locate you. It will locate you. Amen. It will locate you. Amen. It will locate you. Amen. Somebody say, Father Jukudio I believe. Father I believe. And because you believe, it shall be a reality in your life. For the word of God said, for whatever you believe without doubt in your heart, and you pray about it, God will surely grant you that your heart desires. It shall be done unto you. In the name of J-E-S-U-S, give me a powerful name, Jesus. Jesus! So, children of God, to prepare ourselves worthily, for God to grant us our intentions, and by the intercession of Saint Alphonsus Ligori, Alphonsus Ligori, Saint Alphonsus was the one who said eh, that the mission of Christ in this world, that why Christ sent every one of us to the world, that the mission of Christ for bringing you into this world is that his name may be glorified through you, that your life may glorify him. It's not for any other thing. Child of God, I pray, this month of all gods, God will use you to showcase his glory to the whole world. Amen. Amen. Saint Alphonsus Ligori, we intercede for you. Amen. Our Lady Mother of Bethlehem, our Lady of Miraculous Mother, our Lady Mother of Grace, we intercede for you. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. So to prepare ourselves for this holy celebration and to claim our blessings, our signs and wonders and victories in this month of August. Let us now call to mind our sins and ask God for pardon and mercy. For only sin can stand as an obstacle on our way to blessedness. According to Proverbs chapter 14 verse 34. I confess to the Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my rest, in what I have done and what I have to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May the Almighty God have mercy on us. May He forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. God have mercy. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Let us pray. O oh God, who constantly raise up in your church new examples of virtue, grant that we may follow so closely in the footsteps of the Bishop St. Alfonso Ligori in his zeal for souls, as to attain the same rewards that are his in heaven. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns between the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen.
a reading from the book of the prophet Jeremiah. The priests and prophets addressed the officials and all the people. This man deserves to die, since he has prophesied against this city, as you have heard with your own ears. Jeremiah, however, replied to the people as follows. The Lord himself sent me to say all the things you have heard against this temple and this city. So now amend your behavior and actions. Listen to the voice of the Lord your God. If you do, he will relent and not bring down on you the disaster he has pronounced against you. For myself, I am as you see in your hands. Do whatever you please or think right with me. But be sure of this, that if you put me to death, you will be bringing innocent blood on yourselves, on this city and on its citizens, since the Lord has truly sent me to you to say all these words in your hearing. The officials and all the people then said to the priests and prophets, This man does not deserve to die. He has spoken to us in the name of the Lord our God. And Jeremiah had a protector in Ahikam, son of Shaphan. So he was not handed over to the people to be put to death. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. In your, in your great love, answer me, O God. 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 Rescue me from sinking in the mud. Save me from my foes. Save me from the waters of the deep, lest the waves overwhelm me. Do not let the deep engulf me, nor death close its mouth on me. In your great love, answer me, O Lord. As for me, in my poverty and pain, let your help, O God, lift me up. I will praise God's name with a song. I will glorify him with thanksgiving. In your great love, answer me, O God. The poor, when they see it, will be glad. And God, seeking hearts, will revive. For the Lord listens to the needy and does not spawn his servants in their chains. In your, your great love, answer me, me, O God. In your great love, answer me, O God. In your in great, great love, answer me, O God. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Blessed are those who with noble and generous hearts take the word of God to themselves and yield a harvest through their perseverance. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, o Lord. Matthew's Gospel, chapter 14, from verse 1 to 12. Herod the Tetrarch heard about the reputation of Jesus and said to his court, This is John the Baptist himself. He has risen from the dead, and that is why miraculous powers are at work in him. Now it was heard that it was Herod who had arrested John, chained him up, 
put him in prison because of Herodias, his brother Philip's wife. For John had told him, It is against the law of your the law for you to have her. He had wanted to kill him, but was afraid of the people who regarded John as a prophet. Then during the celebrations of Herod's birthday, the daughter of Herodias danced before the company, so delighted, so delighted Herod that he promised on oath to give her anything she asked. Prompted by her mother, she, she said, Give me John the Baptist's head here on a dish. The king was distressed, but thinking of the oath he had sworn and of his guests, he ordered it to be given to her and sent and had John beheaded in the prison. The head was brought in on a dish and given to the girl who took it to her mother. John's disciples came, took the body, and buried it. Then they went off and to tell Jesus. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. By the hearing of this Gospel, may our sins be blotted out. Amen. Glory be to Jesus. Honor to Mary. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ, the major duty of a prophet is speaking in the name of God. Whatever he hears from God, he speaks. And I want to tell you that oftentimes, and in fact most times, speaking in the name of God or in the name of the Lord can come at a very costly price. Persecution and death can be the price. Jeremiah, whose account we read in the first reading today, Jeremiah chapter 26 from verse 11 to 16 and verse 24, suffered several times, even had to be thrown into well. A lot of times he was condemned to death. Yesterday they screamed, you must die. Today again, they shouted, you will die for prophesying. John the Baptist, whom we heard about in the gospel today, dedicated, put his life, you see, in speaking on the name of God, thus says the Lord. So it is not an easy thing to speak in the name of God, but child of God, let me tell you, many people today have been persecuted. Some lost their lives. Some were made political prisoners, just like John. Some were forced into silence, and some were killed because of their truth, the truth they stand to tell in the name of God. Yet, no matter how the enemy tried to silence them and to kill them, those were freer than their persecutor, persecutors. Because Jesus Christ said in John's Gospel, chapter 8, verse 32, And you will know the truth. And the truth will set you free. So if you know the truth and you speak the truth, prophesy the truth and teach the truth, the word of God is saying the truth will set you free. Let us be ambassadors of the truth, no matter how challenging it may be to say the truth in our own generation. And you will know the truth and the truth will set you free. The world we are in today needs more people not just prophets, but human persons, even lay people who are speaking the truth. People knowing the truth and not speaking it or not saying it has caused a lot of havoc in our world. Our world is like the generation of Herod. Imagine crowd, imagine guests surrounded the house, drinking wine, eating rice, eating pepper soup. And the man who came for his birthday ordered somebody's head to go and cut I'm giving a dish to a girl. You did not shout, no, sir. You could not talk. You were so indifferent to it. 
What type of generation is that? It's a very wicked generation. The generation was very evil. The generation that came for that Herod birthday, very evil. Even the girl that danced this dance that made uh, um, 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 Herod to promise heaven and earth with oath of his life. What type of dance did she dance? What type of dance? Maybe he can call her Jaraha. So the extent that now Herod Ramon was your way. Because from the look of things, the fact that Herod is taking the wife of his brother Philip shows you that Herod is a gigolo. In fact, Herod is a mother of the thing being on skate. Herod will fall. That his highest weakness is what? Sensual weakness. He has a demon of uncontrollable sensual urge in him. It was, a, as a matter of fact, under, under the influence of, of urge in the immoral dance that that girl danced, that the man made the promise. And he failed to repent or to save himself from that chain, even when his mind is telling him, ah, I didn't know it's the, the head of John the Baptist this girl will request to. He said he was ashamed of his guest and his word. Oftentimes, when we feel that we are God, when we do not have fear of God, we approve things that even the angels cannot approve. Because John the Baptist told you it is not good that you take Herodias, your brother Philip's wife. You became upset. What about the Herodias himself? So many women of our age, ask yourself, you that dishonor the sound of my voice, are you faithful to your husband? Are you one of those who marry their husband because the brother is in abroad? And the, since you enter that family, you are looking for every opportunity to do what? To switch over, either officially or by unofficially. Let us learn from the experience of Herod and Herodias. The mother of God, they died a shameful death. In fact, Herod himself was decaying alive. Abach also, Abach also, Agwaman. Our people say that Nabache Wananuku. You are simply jumping up and down now, thinking that you can hide it from everybody. Let me know, you cannot hide it from God. Whatever we do here on earth, we shall one day answer for it. Whether here or there. Let us be very careful. This our generation need the truth. And when you hear the truth, accept it and repent. Fight the sin and the evil in you. Stop attacking people who say the truth. John the Baptist died for saying the truth. Jeremiah entered the potter potter in the well for days because he said the truth. So many people are still suffering for saying the truth today. Child of God, I want to tell you that the truth is the only thing that will set us free. So don't shy away from saying the truth. Stand by the truth and the truth will set you free. No matter how many are against you, if God said you will not die, you will not die. Look at Jeremiah. They have surrounded him. But because it was not ordained that God, that Jeremiah will die because of, of saying the truth, what happened? He told them, anyway, just know that I am only a prophet of God, the mouthpiece of God. And what he asked me to say is what I have said. You are carrying stones, carrying clumps, carrying machet, surrounding me to kill me. I'm not afraid because I know the truth can set me free. But one thing I assure you is that if you kill me, you will be very, very sure that you have killed an innocent man, which will bring calamity upon you, upon this city, upon your children, and upon our children's children. So choose one, killing me, or heeding the voice of God, and they repent. And everybody drop his claw. Those who are carrying gun, uh, 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 remove the, the bullet in their gun, and then all the weapon they have, they dropped it and said, I surrender to God. I don't know, you that is hearing my voice at this hour, are you surrendering or are you finding your face? Are you finding your face? Or not, or not, or not.
on a encore. Come and force me now to do the live the good life. But let me tell you, child of God, God is the ultimate in your life. There is nobody who is above God. And no matter how healthy or how good you may think, something is things are for you. Just know that it is just the eyes of God. Your own is God. We are like pencil in the hand of our Creator. We are nothing but clay. That message we preached there before yesterday or yesterday. So wait, let me let us in this month of August renew our commitment to God. Rededicate our life to God. Let us choose the option of holiness. Option of doing the right thing. Option of saying the truth. Option of supporting prophets and priests. Option of sowing seed to the life of men of God. Like the Shunammite woman. In the second book of Kings, chapter 4, verse 8, following. Elisha's life was blessed by the Shunammite woman, and on the day of reckoning, oh God, what you done in the family, Elisha prophesied, and the problem was alleviated. Child of God, let me tell you, look for a man of God in this month of August, and do something good to him. By doing that, you shall be welcoming Jesus into your family. Remember, it is a month of a divine visitation. And Jesus can visit you in any way. He can visit you in the form of a man of God, in the form of a beggar, in the form of, a, of a, even a mad person. You, we must be very careful in this month of August. Because anywhere he comes, and you did not recognize him in the person that he reposed himself into visit you, you will be losing your blessing. So take the option of charity. Be ready to sacrifice your, your last cover for reaching out to the less privilege in this month of August. Personally, I will, I will be having a day to visit the motherless baby home. If you want to key in to my own visit to motherless baby home in the month of August, you can communicate me by WhatsApping me or making a phone call across to me. I want to tell you, you have to do what? See Jesus in the poor in this month of August. And by doing that, Jesus will do what? We surely locate you and your family. Because the Bible said, if you don't love uh, the, 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 your fellow human being whom you can see, how can you love God whom you do not see? If you do not welcome the poor in this month of August, Jesus will come to you and you will not know. And you will, drive, you will drive him away because Jesus is in everybody, especially the poor. So this month is a month of charity. Month of charity. Charity to Jesus who is visiting you. Remember, charity broke an age-long barrenness yoke in the family of Abraham and Sarah at a very old age. That's why the Father God promised Abraham that you will make him the father of multitude of nations. That promise of God never came to materialization until Abraham welcomed the angels of God. Just three men passing by his tumult. He said, please come, come and rest. Would you want to do you care for food? They said, we don't mind. And he went back and said, Sarah, my wife, sweetheart, slaughter the young goat and prepare the soup. And the Sarah did not object to eat. Sarah made the soup, used part of it to do suya. And the other one, the head, used to do mkwabi. And came and served them. After the angels ate, they began to prophesy. By this time next year, we shall be here again. And your wife, Sarah, an old woman, shall be carrying a son. When Sarah heard it, Sarah looked at it from the human point of view and they started laughing, started laughing because she knew that she has entered the men of poor, 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 poor. But there is no situation that God cannot turn around. When God wanted her to conceive, men of poor turned into fertility. And she became pregnant. And they conceived who? Isaac. Isaac was the father of Jacob and Esau. Jacob is uh, the Israel we know today. Because after holding God by the trousers, I said, I will never let you go unless you bless me. God said, uh, because you fought to claim your blessing, 
Because you never gave up. Your name shall turn from Jacob to Israel, because you shall be a blessed eh, nation. Child of God, let us not lose sight of the presence of God in little things, especially in the in the common people that come around us in this month of August. Through them, you will encounter Jesus. Let us go out. Let us reach out, no matter how little. And I pray that as you do this, that divine blessings of God will locate you and your family. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. I shall release my mandate of blessing upon you on Facebook this morning. After this mass, I shall post it. Go and read it up. I will put it on my page and also on my Facebook wall. And also, I will also say, read it and say it in a video format and put on YouTube. Child of God, let me tell you, this month of August is your special month. Somebody say, it is my special month. It is my special month. Month of divine visitation for me and my family. Month of divine visitation. May Jesus visit you with your blessings, and may he grant you all your heart desires. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Never you be an attacker of men of God, prophets of God, or people who say the truth to you, rather... Be somebody who receives the word of God, receives the messages that they preach, and they use it to have a, a, a change of life, so that our life in God will be fully manifestation of the glory of God, which St. Alphonsus Liguri, whose feast we celebrate today, preached through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. 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 Oh yes, in the presence of the Lord, I will bring my gift. In thanksgiving, Lord, there is joy in my heart. It is joy like a river. I will praise the Lord. God the Father, everlasting King, please I send the gifts we offer in thanksgiving and joy. Take our bread upon the altar and the wine. Bring the charges in thanksgiving and love. Oh, yes, in the presence of the Lord, I will bring my gift in thanksgiving and love. There is joy in my heart. It is flowing like a river, I will praise the Lord, in thanksgiving and love. There is joy in my heart, it is flowing like a river, I will praise the Lord, in thanksgiving and love. With thankful heart and joy of voice, we approach your holy altar in thanksgiving and love. Bearing gifts of all the creation, with our what you have given us in thanksgiving and love. Oh, yes, in the presence of the Lord, I will bring my gift in thanksgiving and love. There is joy in my heart, it is flowing like a river, I will praise the Lord in thanksgiving and love. Brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Father Almighty. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the grace and glory of his name. 
Father, we bless O Lord, to enkindle our hearts with the celestial fire of your spirit, just as you granted that St. Alphonsus Ligori should celebrate these mysteries and by them offer himself to you as a holy sacrifice through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is really right and just, our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For in the marvelous confession of yourselves, you make your church fruitful by strength, with strength ever new, and offer us sure signs of your love, and that your saving mysteries may be fulfilled. Their great example lends us courage. Their fervent prayers sustain us in all we do. And so, Lord, with all the angels and saints, we too, Give your thanks, as in exaltation we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy therefore this gift we pray. And send it down your spirit of them by the new form, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and gave it thanks, broke it and gave it to the disciples, saying, Take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to the disciples, saying, Take this son of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, particularly the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church, spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Alfred Martins, our Archbishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, our Holy Spouse, with the blessed Apostles and all the saints, who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may be ready to be called to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom. Through him and with him and in him, O oh God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. And the Savior's command are formed by divine teaching. We dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, that we be on earth, our cities in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses. As we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. 
Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Gracious, the grand peace in our days. That by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress. As we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. And graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Peace be with you. Those online, type in, in the comment box, peace be with you. Wish your colleagues peace and every one of us. And we wish you self in Jesus' name. Amen. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Jesus who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not told you that I should enter under my roof. But I will say the words, and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ keep us safe for eternal life. Amen. Come in the banquets of the Lord, in the blessed sacrament. Come in the supper of the Lord. In the blessed sacrament, in the bread and drink the wine, flesh and blood of the Lord divine, share with God, it is your sign, for we are in this divine in the passion of the Lord in the blessed sacrament all the in the resurrection in the blessed sacrament, eat the bread and drink the wine, flesh and blood of the Lord divine. Share his blood, it is yours and mine, for we are one in O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine, our praise and all thanksgiving, every moment and 
O sacramento for Sunday, O sacrament divine, O praise and all thanksgiving, be every moment that. O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving, be every moment thine. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, one without end. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. United with our brothers and sisters online, let us say the art of spiritual communion. Art of spiritual communion. Art of spiritual communion. My Jesus. My Jesus. I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things. I love you above all things. And I desire to receive you into my soul. And I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot receive you sacramentally now. Since I cannot receive you sacramentally now. Come at least spiritually into my heart. Heart. Come at least spiritually into my heart. Those online, you type in in the comment box, come at least spiritually into my heart. Or you can simply say, Lord Jesus, come into my heart. Come into my heart, Lord Jesus, come into me, come into stay, come into my heart, Lord Jesus. Bless you as if you are already there. I embrace you as if you are already there. I unite myself to you. I unite myself to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Oh God. Who can send Alphonsus Ligori to be a faithful steward and preacher of this great mystery? Grant that your faithful may receive it often and receive it, and receiving it, praise you without end. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Let us put our hands together to Jesus. And you. A powerful applause to Jesus. I want to wish happy new moon to you all. Same to you, Father. Welcome to the month of August in Jesus' name. Amen. So I want to thank all of you for your active participation in our multiple programs this night and this from night to morning, from July to August. August. We are now in August. We started in July. Oh, what a blessing. May this blessing never depart from you this month in Jesus' name. Amen. So August is your month of divine visitation. And because it's your month of divine visitation, visitation, it is your month of celebration. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Remember, midnight, the next midnight mass will be Sunday mass. The mass that we break into Sunday, tomorrow. That mass is the mass of the first Sunday of the month of August. Therefore, from A to Z, Latin. Latin. It's going to be Latin Mass. So remember to get your Latin book, a Latin prayer book, and keep it very close to you. Your hymn book and the rest of them. Keep it very close to you so that as the Mass is going on, you can follow very well. You can follow very well. Latin is the first language of the church, 
and the universal language of the Catholic Church. We cannot do away with it. Besides, in the Archdiocese of Lagos, the bishop, the Archbishop has encouraged us to celebrate Latin Mass at least once in a month, first Sunday of every month. So that is what we are going to do tomorrow. Just get your Latin book around, and then we shall carry go when we come. May God bless you as you continue to hack into our uh, the requirements for you to be fully integrated and follow very joyfully in this month through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen and amen. Amen. Child of God, remember, if you are new to the platform, do not forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Our YouTube channel, Chukudio Mimi Adoration TV. Go to YouTube and search for Chukudio Mimi. Chukudio Mimi Adoration TV. Then you subscribe. May God bless you as you do that through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. In fact, all of you who have subscribed so far, I love you all. God of Father Chukudomi will never disappoint you in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Child of God, even as I'm talking now, may you begin to share this mass. Somebody will hear it. Share it to somebody who will share it to another body, who will share it to somebody, and share it to somebody until it has gone around the world. Do not be shy. Do not shy away from sharing the Eucharist. Remember, I told you, you are called, just I am called. I'm called to be a ministerial priest. You are a priest by virtue of your baptism. And in a very special way, by participating in this midnight mass, this online mass, you are called to be an evangelizer, a preacher by sharing. A preacher by hosting watch party. You can host a watch party. And may God bless you as you do that. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen and amen. Amen. Please, if you book mass for the month of August, and you have gone through the list very carefully, once or twice, and you did not hear your name. Just send me a message so that we figure, we figure it out. Send me a message so that we figure it out. Your name will not be missing in the list that will be coming out. So tomorrow we shall go to printer and print all these names we called and the ones we are going to add tonight and tomorrow so that they will always be on the altar all through the month of uh, August. May God bless you. May your names written on that flag of divine visitation and success in this month never be erased in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Somebody say, August, I am here. August, I am here. August, I have seen you. August, I have seen you. Jesus. Jesus. Be my August visitor. Be my August visitor. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Lord, I want to bless you with my August blessing. Everybody stand up. Place your two hands on your head. Your two hands on your head. If I post it online for so many people to see, I want you to receive the blessing in a very special way now. Because you participated in this Mass, you shall be among the first. Somebody say, I shall be among the first. I shall, I shall be, be among the first. first. I shall be among the first. I shall be among the first. I shall not be last. 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 In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Child of God, welcome to August 2020. This is our month of divine visitation. In this beautiful month of August, I pray 
that your glory will shine. Somebody say amen. 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 The blessings of God will locate you. Say amen. 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 God will release his mercy and grace upon you. Amen. Amen. Your wounds will be healed. Say amen. Amen. Your sickness shall be cured. Say amen. Amen. Your tears will be wiped away. Say amen. Amen. Your stolen blessings will be restored in, in multiple folds. Say amen. Amen. Miracles will take place in your life. Amen. 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 These monies will not cease in your home and in your life till the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. Say amen. 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 And may the blessings of your mighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down upon you and remain with you both now and forever. Amen. amen. This mass is ended. Go forth in the peace of Christ. Blessed be to God. God. Because he lives, I, I confess tomorrow. Because he lives, all there is Because I know he owns my future. Life is what the living just because it is.